Garoppolo is in Detroit for 12 seasons. The Rams, they think he'll be the man. Huge opportunity. Job is to try and get that team to the Super Bowl. Stafford impeccable on offense. Matthews elevated everybody around him. An incredible throw. Coming into this league, having the opportunity to play this game for as long as I have. It's over. The dream come true. Best in the West. The stadium shook as number nine took the field. Our man Joe Burrow leading us to the promised land. The Cincinnati Bengals are marching on. Don't let that baby face fool you. He's what this city needed. The Joe Show is off and running. The swagger that he has, I think he's going to lead us to many, many playoffs and Super Bowl wins. Like a champion. Pretty memorable setting for the first ever meeting between these two former first overall picks. Burrow and Stafford, both from SEC schools. Stafford from Georgia, Burrow out of LSU. I know my friends down in the SEC like to say <laughs> it just means more. In my world, Hollywood, anything is possible. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. That's kind of what makes this Super Bowl so special. It's here in L.A. Now, you have to remember, it all began in this monument to spectacle okay. where a forgotten backup became a hero and a coach defined his legend. For more than a half century now, we've seen battles. We've seen coronations. We've seen legends strive to become the apex predator of their time. Tonight, the next chapter. We're one game away. Where the future is not only near, it is now. It's no time. But you better believe Hollywood is ready. Ain't nobody stay. And the passion for football in L.A. is real. These guys are ready to remind everybody it's their stage. Ready to prove it's their time. We're going to the Super Bowl. The next evolution awaits. It's Super Bowl 56. And a Hollywood setting to write the final line of the script for this football season. SoFi Stadium. In Los Angeles, activity really picking up. So many of the fans on the sparling grounds. Haley's Comet. A total solar eclipticals that are as rare as they are breathtaking. But today, we celebrate something that's never happened in 4.5 billion years on planet Earth. Super Gold Sunday. The Super Bowl and the Olympic Games. The biggest game of the year. And the greatest spectacle in sports. They have never happened on the same day until now. It's about the Lombardi and the gold, silver, and bronze. It's about touchdowns and twizzles. Monstrous hits. Oh! and the monobob. It's about these colors and these colors. It's about an epic halftime show where it's like this and like that and like this Santa. You know the rest. It's about the idea that this game and these games can achieve one of the most precious feats of all bringing us all together for a celebration of who we are. The kick is up. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. After all we've been through, yeah. we have earned this day. So savor it. Embrace it. Because this is our day. This is Super Gold Sunday. The Rock sets the scene. What a weekend and what a day. There's already been Team USA Gold 1 in Beijing. There may be more one tonight. 
But we know the silver of the Lombardi Trophy will be won by either the LA Rams or the Cincinnati Bengals. Super Bowl 56 getting ever closer. For Joe Burrow, born in the state of Ohio, left Ohio State to go to LSU, won a national championship. He could be a world champion in a matter of hours. Matthew Stafford did everything he could in Detroit. Now he has all of the state of Michigan behind him, trying to bring the LA Rams a championship. Odell Beckham Jr. once drafted by the Giants, time in Cleveland this year. He's found a home. Will he find a ring on this day? Jamar Chase, rookie, star at LSU, opted out last year. He is been in the deep end this year. Will he get deep tonight against the Rams? Aaron Donald might change it all. One of the most influential, dominant defenders, the big stars and the big names as we set the table. From Halley in Hollywood to SoFi Stadium, Inglewood, California, that was the virtual Lombardi trophy outside. The real deal inside. Who claims it tonight? A look into the locker room of the Los Angeles Rams, the NFC champions, and across the way, the AFC champion, Cincinnati Bengals ready to tee it up in Super Bowl 56. Audience here in Los Angeles and the fans, and here come the Rams, led by Matthew Stafford out of the locker room. Let's meet the Rams starting lineups. Matthew Stafford, University of Georgia. Cam Makers, Florida State. Cooper Cup, Ewu, OBJ. Ham University. Van Jefferson, Florida. Kendall Bladen, KC Mo. Andrew Whitworth, LSU. David Edwards, Wisconsin. Brian Allen, Michigan State. Austin Corbett, Nevada. Rob Havenstein, Wisconsin. Greg Gaines, Washington. Aaron Donald, Pitt. Leonard Floyd, Georgia. Troy Reader, Delaware. Ernest Jones, South Carolina. Von Miller, Texas A&M. Jalen Ramsey, RPT. Eric Weddle, University of Utah. Nick Scott, Penn State. Darius Williams, UAB. David Long Jr., Michigan. Matt Gay, Orem, Utah. Johnny Hecker, V, Oregon State University. Matthew Orzek, Menifee, California. Cincinnati Bengals champions of the AFC led by Joe Burrow. Let's meet the Bengals starting lineups. Joe Burrow, Athens High School. Joe Mixon, Oklahoma. Jamar Chase, wide receiver University. T. Higgins, Oak Ridge High School. Tyler Boyd, Clareton. Drew Sample, Washington. Jonah Williams, Alabama. Quentin Spain. Spain Gang University. Trey Hopkins, North Shore High School. Hakeem Adeniji, Kansas. Isaiah Prince, Eleanor Roosevelt High School. Sam Hubbard, Ohio State. DJ Reader, Clemson. BJ Hill, North Carolina State. Trey Hendrickson, FAU. Logan Wilson, Wyoming. DB Money, High Point, North Carolina. Cheeto Bear, I was here, San Jose, California. Ron Bell, the Ohio State University. Jesse Bates III, Wake Forest. Eli Apple, Ohio State. Mike Hilton, Ole Miss. Evan McPherson, Florida. Kevin Huber, Cincinnati. Clark Harris, Rutgers. California in 29 years. That's unbelievable. You think oh, and so is that, time? by the way. I love that, too. Great Good outfit. fit. Matthew Stafford. Swag. Yeah, after a dozen years in Detroit, finally gets to play for the big one. Mm -mm. Scoreless game till that. Stafford to OBJ. Yet another touchdown. His seventh and 12 games. What worked here? This is the thing. Anytime a man can moonwalk on turf in cleats, you know he's a bad man. 
And I tell you what, it was all man-to-man. -man. They saw it. They ran a wheel route. Great throw and catch there by Odell Beckham Jr. and Matthew Stafford. Second quarter, 7-3 L.A. Stafford looking for Odell, and he's got him, Joe. Yeah, the, the shallow cross right there, getting open. That's what Odell has been doing great since he came here into L.A. with the Rams. Gain of 35 and three plays later. It's the Offensive Player of the Year, Cooper Cup. How's he get that open there, MJD? Eli Apple had his eyes in the backfield. as a play-action fake. That's why you run the ball. Even though you weren't successful, you found a way to do it. Speaking of run the ball, oh, no, it's not Joe Mixon running, and he's throwing it to T. Higgins, first running back to throw for a touchdown in a Super Bowl since Robert Newhouse in Super Bowl 12 for the Dallas Cowboys. T. Higgins, yes, you have your Sunday tea time at the back of the end zone. Shoot your shot, Bengals down three. Next Rams drive. Stafford looking for Odell, and oh, no, that is the same knee he tore up in Cleveland in 2020. Yeah, it was tough to see this. I mean, the knee just grabs as he's trying to stop to catch the ball. Uh, he meant, he's meant so much to this team. At that point, everyone was expecting him to try to come back, but obviously he couldn't. You saw the tears in his eyes. On to the third. Bengals down three. First play of the second half. Burrow to T. Higgins, who had a 100-yard effort. Beats Jalen Ramsey, but there's a pretty good reason why, Joe Thomas. Yeah, he got away with a little bit of a face mask grab, which knocked Jalen Ramsey to the ground, allowed him to go up and make the big play right there. Twists his head. When you lose the football and you lose your equilibrium like that as a DB, it's impossible to make a play on the football. Jalen's like, yo, dude, he grabbed my mask. My mask. Bengals have their first lead. Ensuing Rams drive. Stafford looking for Ben Skoranek. It's picked off by Chidobia Wuzie. Yeah, again, the Bengals are a great second-half team. We've seen it against the Chiefs a couple times. We saw it against the Raiders as well. But the Rams were able to keep the Bengals out of the end zone. Joe Burrow, have you have you tried on your Aaron Donald jersey yet? He had two of the Rams' oh. seven sacks. Look what he does, Joe. Yeah, Aaron Donald finds the right guard on his heels, pushes him right into the quarterback for the huge play. Bengals settle for a field goal and a seven-point lead. Oh, little trickeration. Cup had Matthew Stafford on third and five. Doesn't get it done. I was so happy he didn't catch that ball because if you watch, Jesse Bates is about to come and smoked. And yeah, and, and get after him there. So it was better miss than a catch there. Rams settle for a field goal. They get within four. Stafford again. He had some problems and here banged up as well, Joe. Yeah, he's getting his leg just caught under the defender. You never like to see that. Thankfully, the, the ankle rolls one way and not the other. and He was able to stay in that game. Yeah, exactly. DJ Reader and 340 pounds falling on that there. Hurts. Bengals up four in the fourth. Burrow. Von Miller, he's tied with Charles Haley, four and a half sacks, most in Super Bowl history. We have a flag on the Bengals as well. Burrow sacked seven times, tied for the most in the Super Bowl. Next Bengals possession, as Burrow did not miss any plays, even though he had a little hitch in his giddy up. Burrow, Tyler Boyd. You yeah. gotta catch that. You gotta catch that. He was looking to run, looking for the defender there. That, that's a big time play. If you catch that, you go for it on fourth and two. And you have a chance to seal this game. Well, speaking of going for it, now on fourth and one, Cooper Cup, the old end around, the good cut, and a pickup of about 10. You know, they, they've run this play a ton, but never to Cooper Cup. And they found a way to give him the ball. This is more of a Robert Woods play. Once Robert Woods went out, it kind of went out of the playbook. Five plays later, Stafford for Cup, who had four snags for 39 yards on this final drive. That's a first down inside of the 25. Joe Brr, is he going to get his shot? Now things get swirly. Third down, knocked away, incomplete. We got flags on the play, though. Logan Wilson, one of the better pass-defending linebackers all over Cup, had a little too much jersey. Zach Taylor didn't love the call. So now the Rams again on first down. Stafford rolling, rolling, Cup nailed. We have offsetting penalties on this play. There is no score. There's holding on the Rams, unnecessary roughness on the Bengals, no OBJ at this time. So what do the Rams do at the goal line with under 90 ticks to go? Cup on the little fade. Again, he's never run this. So if you're Eli Apple, you're guessing he's going to run some type of inside route. You throw the fade, get the ball to your best player. That's how, how you, you like, win games. How you like them apples, Eli? With the Bengals undone, Ooh. undaunted. Out to Jamar Chase. Their rookie gets the first down and then some as he beats Jalen Ramsey. That's a gain of 17. Three plays later, third and one. Samaj P. Ryan, Joe? Yeah, you wonder why you don't run Joe Mixon. He's your horse. He's been playing great all night. Give him the football in that situation. Fourth and one. Donald again with the pressure. He doesn't get the sack, but he gets the incompletion. And most importantly, the Los Angeles Rams get 
that much coveted Super Bowl championship. They hang on. They win it on their own turf by three. OBJ, who's about to become a father, overcome with emotion. Sean McVay, overcome by the game.